Hey students, this is a short little video based on time I've spent teaching and learning online to provide you a little bit of direction on what to expect and hopefully how to succeed when you're suddenly foisted into the online environment like many of you have been. So I want to just start by sharing what is important, I think, at its bare minimum for you to be aware of. So first and foremost, to be successful online, I can't overemphasize the need for you to maintain a consistent schedule. If it's at all possible, I would suggest keep exactly the same schedule that you currently use with your courses in a university schedule or university pipeline. Secondly, encourage you to focus on the location. Location matters. Now, I know for some of you, if you're forced to stay home now, you may have to compete with space, with family, siblings, and other environments that are going to have a bit of an impact on your ability to concentrate and focus. But probably more so than any other factor, these two will help you be successful. If you maintain a consistent schedule, you're going to have time and effort devoted to the main elements of your course. If you can find sort of a consistent location for learning that minimizes distractions, puts your phone out of the way, you'll have a much better chance of being able to stay focused on learning the topic areas that are a critical part of your course. Another element that you're going to find, and this one's a bit more complex to communicate, but it's this idea of coherence. So when you go to a university, you'll have your faculty member teaching you and they will tell you exactly what it is that you need to know, often in a very well-structured lecture type of format or group activity format. When you learn online, that fragments. Suddenly you have bits and pieces here. You might watch part of a YouTube video, you might engage in a discussion forum, and in the end you'll end up having bits and pieces that aren't as coherent as a regular lecture might be. A key element here that relates to the coherence thing is being aware of just the nature of that experience and recognizing that it takes a little bit more effort when you have bits and pieces everywhere to try and pull them together in a meaningful way. So one of the things I often recommend students is to focus on resources and activities that help you connect the pieces that you're encountering. This can be visualization, this can be extensive review, this can be students taking time to draw out how the, the course pieces fit together. It's just some way of being able to say, because I don't have the structure of a faculty member telling me exactly what the pieces are and I'm getting bits and pieces everywhere, it's helpful for you to put more time and effort into connecting the pieces when you're involved in this kind of format and simple techniques like extensive review and visualization can help make that easier for you, you to achieve. A fifth point I just want to emphasize is a mindset. And that mindset is essentially having a bit of a patient approach to your, uh, for yourself and also, for lack of a better word, kindness for others. So you're not alone in the stress that you're feeling. Chances are your faculty members are overwhelmed. They're stressed with the details of moving curriculum online when they hadn't planned on doing it. I know a lot of faculty have been working you know, 10, 12, 15 hours a day trying to make that transition. And for all of you, you're stressed, nervous about what's involved and a range of related questions. It could be family members at home. It could be financial and so on. It could be existential. So there's a lot of critical things for you to focus on as well. And an attitude of being patient with yourself and with others will certainly help make the experience a little bit easier for you in the long run. Everyone is upended. Everyone is unsure of what's happening. Another point and the final one I'll mention here is just ask questions. Like when in doubt, ask questions. Ask questions of faculty member, ask questions of fellow students, but make it an effort to, if you don't understand, make it explicit. Uh, when you're learning online, it has the capability of being a bit isolating sometimes, but by being willing to engage and ask questions on a regular basis, you can help minimize that sense of isolation and collect or connect more meaningfully to uh, students and to the teachers that are teaching the course. Good luck as you make the transition online. It's not easy, but in many ways, it's a situation all of us have very little control over, and the best we can do really is to try and make the best of the situation.